What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Galarian Moltres team in the Master tier alongside Life Orb Soul Galio. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Also, guys, if you want to catch more content from me, your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch, every single Monday, every single Wednesday, and every single Friday. Like I said, over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below to my channel and name is right below the page. So go head over there, hit that follow button, turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner. With the one and only Galarian Moltres. And Galarian Moltres is one of those Pokemon that is super fun to use in the rank ladder. I always have fun using it. And I feel like it is still very, very strong. It's got Berserk as its ability. Alongside with the Safety Goggles as its item. Then it's got Fiery Wrath and Hurricane. Both for stab moves. Then it has Protect and Nasty Plot to set up that special attack boost. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Solgaleo over here with the full metal body and the life orb. Such a good ability and such a good item for this Pokemon. It's got Sun Seal Strike for stab, Earthquake for coverage, Trick Room to pop Trick Room or to either counter Trick Room, and then we got Protect as our final move. Middle left is going to be Kyogre over here with that Drizzle and the Leftovers as its item. And I always like this Kyogre setup right here because it has Calm Mind, it has Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Protect. But the reason I like it is because you can set up Calm Mind and then this Pokemon is really, really strong in the Dynamax form. So. Getting Calm Mind set up, and then Dynamaxum can really win you some battles. Right next to him is going to be our Landorus with the Intimidate and the Lumberry as item. It's got a normal move set of EQ, Rock Slide, Fly, and Sword Stance. Bottom left hand corner is my favorite support Pokemon in all of Sword and Shield. Hopefully, Grimstarl makes it into Scarlet and Violet, but it's probably not going to because they definitely want to switch up the meta, but I love this Pokemon so much. It's got Prankster alongside with the Light Clay, and then it's got Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Fake Tears. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be another support Pokemon, and I really hope that this Pokemon does not make it into Scarlet and Violet. Because I, I really like this Pokemon, I think it's really cool, but again, they just need to change up the meta, so by leaving Pokemon out, they can definitely do that. It's got Regenerator alongside with the Focus Ash, it's got Spore, Protect, Rage Powder, and Pollen Puff for this lovely moveset for this move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with this Moltres and Life Orb Solgaleo team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Galarian Persian team right here. Really cool Pokemon, or is this a Lolan? It's a Lolan Persian. My fault. There's Galarian Meowth, not Galarian Persian. But it's a Lolan Persian, alongside with Yveltal, Zacian, and then Regilecki, Amoongus, and Lander. So, very heavy meta team. We're using kind of a meta team today, but hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and get started off here strong. But how should I lead this one? Um, I feel like he can lead the Persian. I know Persian has Fake Out. And he could lead the Regilek, he could lead the Moongus. He has a lot of different options that he could lead. But, uh, might not even want to bring Solgaleo because, you know, Yveltal really counters it up. And it, and it hurts Soul. Same thing with Landers. Landers can do a lot of work on it. So, I might just want to go Kyogre for a lead. I feel like that could be solid. Alongside with a Pokemon like Grimstrong. Set up screens, maybe even Combine, and they kind of roll off from there. But then I can just go Moltres, and I can go Landers. Or I can go Amoongus. Amoongus ain't too shabby. Amoongus wouldn't be bad to put a Pokemon to sleep. But, you know, we're going to roll out with the squad. We're going to Grimstar. We're going to set up some screens. We're going to get rolling out with that. But uh, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below before battle number one even starts. For question of the day, what mythical Pokemon do you think is going to be the best in Series 13? Because I've been hearing a bunch of different stuff. I just recently started trying out Series 13 teams over on my Twitch. So that's what we'll be doing on the live streams. And I think Victini is going to be very, very strong. I've been rocking out with it with the Choice Scar. It's been doing really, really well. So Victini's on my board. I think Magirna, right? Am I pronouncing that right? Magirna. I think that's going to be very strong due to its ability. And then I heard uh, talks about the Ancy being pretty strong, but I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. But our opponent's going to go Persian. Alongside with Yveltal. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And Kyogre and Grimstone also come out on my end. Dope, 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 dope. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, how should I place one? I mean, he could fake me out. I could set up a combine. A combine wouldn't be bad, but I could definitely see him Dynamaxing and try to walk. I can definitely see that happen. You know what? I am just going to... I'm going to set up a combine here. I'm going to combine and I'm just going to light screen. I am just going to light screen here. I probably should have Dynamaxed and fake tears, but I can't fake tears to Yvelta, which kind of things. Or I can't even fake tears to uh, Persian either because they're both dark type. All right, so I'll just set up the light stream. We'll get rolling with that. We'll see if he wants to fake me out. But I think he's going to Dynamax Yvelta and get rolling out from there. I think he is. But one thing I forgot to mention in the team preview, I totally forgot and I apologize for this, is uh, shout out to the team creator. He goes by name Superbeard. Thank you so much for sending it to me over on Twitter. And he said this team was made by Clover Bells, but he just remade it. So huge shout out to both of them. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below to all the socials. But uh, he's he's going to uh, take a sign with you, Beltal, here. I, again, I think he's going to Dynamax and get rolling from there, but I'm kind of hoping he doesn't. 
I kind of hope he does, but he does. So there's Dynamax. There is the lovely Dynamax from Lubel. Such a good Pokemon. He's probably air streaming. I mean, we do get off this light stream, which can work wonders. And we get that combine boost, which is going to be good for my Kai Ogre. And we're going to get one from here. But hopefully Persian doesn't fake out Kai Ogre. Actually, hopefully he doesn't fake out at all. But he's going to fake me out. We already know this. But I wonder who he's going to fake me out. Who are you faking out, kind sir? Nobody. Oh, that's beautiful. He's going to fake out nobody. So we're going to set up this lovely light screen. He's going to go for the fake tears. Oh. Oh. That's what he's doing. No bueno. Max Dark just can come through here and that picks up the KO, right? Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. The fake tears on that Pokemon. Hurts the soul. He's going to get that defense drop or special defense drop. And he's going to get rolling out from there. So that's tough. That's just real tough. So he's going to show that he's orb. Um, we're going to go into it from here. We're going to go into and Dynamax him. Or we can just go into Lando. And it's not too bad. I mean, he can fake tears me, which kind of hurts, but. Hmm. What can I do? What can I do here? Huh. Special defense shop does me dirty. It does do me real dirty. I kind of just want to go into Lando here. Which I am going to do. I'm going to go into Landers here. Did I just get rid of Persian here? I could try to get rid of Persian by doubling down into him. But yeah, we already know that this one skull is coming out. The fake tears again. The fake tears does me dirty dirty no bueno no good oh uh, yeah i could die i could guard the shot which i think i'm doing i think it's just guarding and then just spirit breaking over into the uh yvelle tall in that special attack drop and going out from there that's my plan that is my plan because i think he's gonna fake tears and do the exact same thing i really do see that coming that hurts soul that hurts soul. That is such a good combo. It really is. The fake tears combo. And I probably should have saw that coming, but I haven't used Persian or even seen Persian on the Mind Glider in a good bit. So I wasn't even thinking at the time. I was just thinking, okay, yes, fake out. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't use fake out. And now I wish he used fake out because he just got rid of my Kyogre. No problem. So we're going to die to Max Landers. We're going to need a big time block here to kind of turn the tides a little bit. So we're going to guard and we're going to hope he's doubling down into me again. Fake tears comes out. Block. Beautiful. Yeah. So he was doubling down into me. Spirit Brick's going to get that special attack drop. That's big time news. That's good news for us. That's a solid turn from us. There's Spirit Break flying through here. Not bad damage either. That's some solid damage all around. And I could get rid of the Persian here. I could indeed get rid of the Persian if I want to. But I think I should do. I think I should just quake into you. Or I could Airstream. Airstream might be a better bet. Going this way. And then just uh, Spirit Breaking into the Persian. So I, I want some speed. I want some speed. And I don't know if Yvelta can take me out at this point. Even with a fake tears. Because we do have Light Screen. He is minus one on special attack. That's not a bad turn. Especially if he's going for darknesses. Which I think he would do. Because he has dark reward. Trying to get off as much damage as he can. But if I can get some speed here. And take a little bit. We definitely have a shot at winning this battle. Definitely have a solid little shot. But not a bad protect. That was a big time protect. Like I said. We needed a big time block. And that's exactly what happened. And he's going to icy win this. Okay. So he icy wins onto me. That's fine. We're going to take speed back. They're kind of a smart icy win, but hopefully we get off our, our shots. We can roll from there. He's going to drop a darkness into Grimmy. No, into Landorus, who should be able to eat up pretty well, which he does. So cool. It's a solid little eat up from us. He's going to drop my special attack or special defense. And I think we should be able to get rid of this Persian. We should be able to get rid of this Persian, right? Persian should go out here. Not to this airstream, but to this, uh, what is it? The spirit break. The spirit break should help or should do enough damage to this so we can take it out. So we'll take our speed back to normal. We still have one more turn in Dynamax, which I kind of want to take speed out again. And Spirit Breaks can come through here. And don't you dare. Oh, it has a berry. Wow. That is super surprising. That is super surprising. Wow. That's solid for him. That's a real solid turn from him. It has a Roselli berry. It's a clutch berry. That's definitely a clutch berry. But from here, I could drop a I could drop a rock. I'm trying to think what other Pokemon he has in the back end. Let's check it out. It's gotta be Zastian, and I'm thinking Landers. I'm surprised he hasn't swapped into the lander shit. Good job, a rock. Hmm. This jeans one do here. This jeans one do here. I think he's gonna drop in the rock. But I really like the speed. I really need some speed here. Even though he's gonna ice him in, I think. I think we need to take back speed. Let's go. Let's go. Airstream into spirit break. Hopefully, he's not going for speed. He's gotta be going for ice win, right? 
And I'm not gonna lie, that Roselli Berry just clutched up for him. That's a big time clutch move from him. He is gonna go for the icy win. He's gonna drop our speed. We're gonna take it right back. And we're gonna get after it that way. I wonder what Yvelto is going for. Where are you going for, Yvelts? What are you doing, kind sir? You can go for Oblivion. We can get some HP back. Um, okay, that's fine. I don't mind it. I mean, Grip should be able to soak pretty well. Did actually a lot more than I thought it would. But, uh, I could set up a reflect next turn. The thing gets back some HP. I should have dropped the rock, but Airstream's gonna fly through here. Chip up some nice damage onto him. He might be a soul vested, but that did a lot of damage. So I don't think it's a soul vested. Or no, what would a soul vest do? We're physical attacking. We're gonna get our speed back. He keeps dropping us, and then Spirit Break is going to be able to finish off this uh this Persian. The Dynamax turns for me are over. I don't have protect on uh on Lando, and this one's looking tough for us because I think he just brings out Grimstarl and he pretty much just solidifies his battle, right? We're not Grimstarl. Zacian. Mmm. That's tough. It's tough. Please, anybody but Zacian. I might go into an Intimidate Pokemon. What do you got going on here? It's gotta be Zacian, right? Yep. Ah, dude, I hate this game. I hate Zacian. I love him, but I hate him. Love hate relationship with Zacian. He boosts his attack. Um, I could set up a Reflect. I could set up the Reflect. I could go for the EQ. Even though it's not gonna affect him. I think that's my play. I think I have to get off some damage on this quick one. Who do I have in the back end? Moltres? I mean, what's Moltres really gonna do? Nothing. It's gonna do nothing. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, he doesn't protect his ass. I mean, I doubt he protects his ass, right? He has all the speed in the world. The Velta outspeeds me, Zacian outspeeds me. It's tough news. The Icy Wind was definitely clutch from him. Big time clutch from the Icy Winds. So if I could have just went up plus one, my Lando could have been able to outspeed and we could have ripped. But I'm hoping maybe Landers can eat up a shot at this point with these screens up. We'll see. We shall see. So Reflect comes out here. He's definitely going for Behemoth Blade, I think, in the Grimstarl. Right? Is that, is that what happened? Or are you going into Landers? I could see him going either way. But if I was him, I would go Grimstarl because it's super effective. And yeah, he takes out my Grimstarl, no problem. And can EQ. Get off some damage because I think Lander should be able to eat up an Oblivion or even a foul play, whatever he's going for. He's going for Oblivion, but he's gonna get some HP back. Can you eat this up? You do beautiful. Can this EQ take out now? I don't know if it can. If it can, that would be really clutch. That would be really clutch. Life Orb's gonna bring him back down a little bit, and EQ's gonna fly. How much damage are we really doing to this? This is probably not taking him out, right? No, we don't take him out, but still big damage all around. That's tough. That is tough because we played really good, but he just has the speed. He played he played great with that uh that what's it called? He played really good with that uh that Persian. That Persian definitely clutches up with the ice. Keep the speed on his side. And yo, what? This shiny's amazing. It looks like regular Moltres. <laughs> it looks so sick. I'm gonna drop a rock side here. Maybe it'll hit, maybe it won't. And then I could go for a fiery wrath, but it's not very effective on both. But I'm gonna try to land this hurricane to get rid of you. I am going to try to get rid of you with the hurricane. That looks so sick. Look at that shiny. That shiny is amazing. I think you get it from events. I think it was an event shiny. But oh my god, dude. This, this looks so cool. It looks so cool, but this is definitely not looking good for us. Playoffs can come out here. That's going to be bye-bye to Moltres. You belt out speeds my landers. He's going to take him out, and we're going to end up losing battle number one. It's all good. It's all good. We were going up against a, a pretty high-ranked player there. Again, that Fred Persian definitely did me dirty, considering I did not really factor in what it could do. And we lost Kyogre right off the rip, and that, that kind of put us in a hole. Second battle coming at you guys, and we have ourselves a lovely little weather war for battle number two. Looking for our first win for today's video, we're going up against a Groudon Assassin team with Sungift, Cherum, and then it has Suicune for Tailwind and Speed Control, and then Kartana, and what is that, Thunders. And did I mention Zacian? Well, yes, Zacian. <laughs> he has Zacian. How should I go into this one? How should I play? I could end up leading Grimstarl and setting up screens like Reflect. It really seems like it does a lot of work here up against a bunch of these physical attackers. So I might go... Mm, I could go Landers for Intimidate, but if he brings out that Defiant Pokemon right after it, that could definitely be a problem. For us. So I might just bring Landers in the back and roll from there. So Grimstarl is going to come out here. I could go Sogaleo, which wouldn't be too shabby here. I could grant Defense Boost and kind of roll from there. I could go Kyogre, but I'm going to go Sogaleo for a lead, bring Kyogre, and then bring Landers in the back. I really like it. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But uh, this team's looking a little tough. It's looking a little tough because I really want to intimidate turn one. But again, if he leads that defiant Pokemon, it can really do me dirty. It can really do me dirty. So Sogo is going to come out here and we're going to roll out with him. Set up a reflect. 
Then up a light screen, one or the other, kind of get rolling from there. I dig it. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to end up rolling into, yeah, there's Defiant Pokemon. And he's going to roll in with Groudon as well. So I think it's just Dynamax and, and dropping a Steel Spike is probably my play. And yeah, setting up that Reflect. Probably my best play, right? Probably my best play. Should I Dynamax? I think I should Dynamax. I think Dynamax is my play. Grant that Defense Boost too. So yeah, Reflect coming out here. I do have Fake Tears on this Pokemon. I do have Fake Tears. I could pop a Trick Room if I want to. What's called Rather Fast? This, uh, this whole Galea is rather fast. It has a Life Orb, too. It's like 150 speed on there. So it's going to be able to outspeed the ground. I'm probably not the Thunderous. I think Thunderous is definitely defined if he's like that. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get rolling with that. I wonder what he's going to do with ground. Maybe he might swap ground. I kind of hope he does. I do wonder what he's going to do here. He might Dynamax the Thunderous. Dude. Thunderous is definitely one of those he does have a dark move, so he's probably thinking like, yo, I'm focus Ash, because most of these guys are He's going to Dynamax the Thunderous. I'm going to get after this. Uh, I am going to get after this uh, Groudon. So this defense boost is really going to do us good. So Thunderous gets his Dynamax. Um, I wonder who he's going to go after. Again, this Reflect's going to be huge for us. Big time Reflect, a lot of physical attackers. Kind of get after the battle that way. And we'll see what happens from here. No Protect from the Groudon. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping no Protect from the Groudon. No protect. It's probably not going to do too much damage because it is kind of bulky on the on the physical side. But still, I really want this defense boost, and it's definitely going to do more damage than it would onto the Thunderous. So we'll Dynamax the Lion. We're going to get ripping with him. We're going to get ripping with the Lion. Lovely little Lion. So Reflect comes out beautiful from us. Set up that nice little physical defense boost and that Light Clay. Eight turns of that. Eight turns of that. He's going to go for Blades, and yeah, we eat up pretty well. We eat up pretty well, and he's going to go for a lightning. Go into Grimmsnarl. He goes into Solgaleo, so he's looking just to do some big damage. And my, my boy's soaking up. My boy is soaking up. Soaking up really well. He is soaking up really well. Really, really well. That thing's going to show he's orbed. We're going to end up going into a Steel Spike here. And how much damage are we going to do? Good chunk of damage. That's a great chunk of damage. So we do that much uh, damage. Um, we get that defense boost. Which is I really, really want to go after... I really want to go after uh, Thunders here, but I can't. Because if I drop its special attack, he just gets at the fine boost. So I'm just going to set up a light screen here. I am just going to roll into another Steel Spike. I am just going to roll into another Steel Spike. Even though I think Groudon might protect, and maybe I should have swapped my Grimmsnarl. I don't mind this. I do not mind this. So yeah, we're plus one on defense, which is huge. We should be able to outbulk even if he wants to double down into me. Unless he gets a crit. But we're fine here. He does not protect. We pop a light screen. We're going to get rid of this guy. We are going to deal with this guy. He's going to go for blades again. We got that defense boost. We are soaking up. And again, we should be able to soak up another max lightning, right? Should be able to soak us up. Oh, it goes into Grimmsnarl. Okay, that's fine. He takes out my Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl got screen set up. He gets a crit. Oh, thank God he went after that. If he went after my Soul Galio and got a crit, I would have been very upset. Would have been very upset. He's going to take some more life orb damage. He has no speed boost, which is good for us. No speed boost coming out from him. And we're going to poke this and get off some mean damage. So my problem here is he's definitely dropping a lightning. And I do not like that one bit. He does do work up against a lot of my Pokemon. But you know what? I'm going to go here and just force swap into the, uh, the Landorus. Might pop the Intimidate, but... We could waste out the last turn. We could waste out this last turn. Obviously, I could protect it, but Intimidate's going to be rough for us. I do not like Intimidate. Intimidate could be rough for us. Again, I could force a shot. I could calm mine, but yeah, I think we just swap here, right? Swap into Lando, try to force him. I think it's my play. Even though we trigger Defiant, we still just Steel Spike into this thing and Defense boost up. I'm liking it. I'm digging it a little bit. We're going to swap the Kyogre. We're trying to force a Lightning over here. We're trying to force this Lightning over here. And we'll pop, we'll pop the Defiant at that point. So he's going to go plus one. And again, please go for the Lightning. Please go for the Lightning. You're going to Defiant Boost. Go for the Lightning. We're just trying to waste out your last turn Dynamax. Go for the Lightning. Okay, he guards. He guards. We could have stayed in there. That would have been a beautiful turn. 
Let's see, there's still spikes gonna fly here. It's gonna do some big damage, and we're gonna bring this thing down to Sash. So we Sash up there. That's fine. I wonder what Cherim's going for. I do wonder what Cherim's going for. So he's plus one on attack. We we kind of counteract that with a plus one on defense, which isn't too bad. And Cherim's gonna go for a sunny day. I mean, I can just swap into Kyogre at this point. I could just swap into Kyogre. So I could protect so good. I might try to pop a trick room. I might try to pop a trick room here. I might try to pop a trick room. Do I go for a trick room or do I just rock slide? Kind of get after the battle that way. It's tough. So if I get rid of this charm, you can't, you can't sunny day anymore. So I'm just going to go for rock slide. Really want to protect. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect him and try to pop a trick room maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. Not too bad. We have the ogre in the back end. I do like the Kyogre back here. But the good part about this Defiant Pokemon is he cannot go into his stab electric. He could try, he could pop a fly. Fly would be not too bad. He's just gonna withdraw him. Okay, so he withdraws him and he gets rid of the Defiant Boost. And what's he gonna go into here? He's gonna go into Zassian. So Zassian's gonna fly here. Zassian is a little bit of a problem. I should have popped the trick him this turn. Probably would've been my best bet. Maybe we'll try to pop a next turn. And I'm just gonna protect Silvelio. We are just going to protect him. So he's gonna end up protecting Charon. Wow, dude, Trick Room would have been the best turn ever. Trick Room would have been the best turn ever. Trick Room would have been the best turn ever. Trick Room could have been really good. Um, I still want to try to pop this Trick Room. I wish I had Protect. But I really want to swap. What do I want to do? What do I want to do here? Hmm. I could swap into Kai Ogre because he can eat up a blade all day. He wants to go into a blade. I can go for the Trick Room. Mm. I mean, I should swap just so I can get off that Intimidate. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to go for Trick Room. I'm going to swap. I'm going to go for Trick Room. That's my play. This battle is coming down to the wire, yo. This battle is coming down to the wire. It's such a good battle. So what, it's because we're high in the match. We're like top 2,000. So we're getting some really good battles. Some really good players. Making some great plays. But yeah, I'm gonna swap here. I'm gonna swap Landers because I really, really want to set the rain first and foremost. And second of all, I think he's gonna Behemoth Blade into the Lando slot. And we're just gonna see how this one's gonna play out. The Flower Gift is gonna go away too. Get out of here, Flower Gift. We're, we're sick of you. We're sick of you. What's he going for? Blade? He withdraws Charon. Okay. As long as he doesn't go into Solgaleo, it's not a bad turn. Oh my god, that's such a good turn for us. That is such a good turn for us. That is such a good turn. We're able to pop the Trick Room. That is such a good turn for us. That's a lovely little turn for us. Flower Gift's off the field, too. Flower Gift is off the field. That's such a good turn for us. We love that turn. And I can just drop an Origin Pulse at this point. Origin Pulse can come out here, and I think we're just going to EQ on top of that. Or I can Sun Shield Strike and double down his Zacian. What do I do here? I'm just going to double down Zacian. Zassian protected that turn. Yep, there it goes to protect. Good thing we doubled down to Zassian. Solid turn from us. Solid turn from us. Origin Pulse comes out here. Please connect on the Zassian. I need you here. Let's go. Connects on the Zassian. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. And I think Sun Seal Strike should be able to finish that off, right? Sun Seal Strike, can you, can you do him dirty? You got the Life Orb. You got the Life Orb. And he's he's whipping on the defense. That, that, that has nothing to do with his attack. So there's this. This comes out here. Sending it. Take him out, please. Get rid of him. Let's go. Big turns from Solgaleo. Big, big turns from Solgaleo. That's big time turns. And the Trick Room coming in hot, yo. The Trick Room, the late game Trick Room prevailing, doing us really, really well and helping us uh, get on the board here. Helping us get this victory. We just need, we just need Origin Pulse to land now. We just need Origin Pulse to land. So obviously I could just go into here. I might do. Am I really worried about that, that Charm like that? Am I really worried about that Charm like that? I mean, I think Ice Beam would do more damage, right? An Origin Pulse? Yeah, we're going to go into an Ice Beam here. We are going to rip it with an Ice Beam. So Ice Beam's going to fly here. Taking off some big damage and picking up the KO. Yep, there it is. Good work. The Ice Beam coming in high. Like I said, yo, back end Trick Room from Sogaleo picks us up picks us up the win, and that's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's. What a great battle, yo. That was a phenomenal battle. I'm glad I got that one on recording. I always love the long and drawn out battles. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them too because that battle legit went back and forth, back and forth. I 
I couldn't tell you. Like it wasn't like a it wasn't like a clear it wasn't like a clear winner. Like that battle could have went either way. If I didn't pop that trick room, he probably would have won. But if I pop that trick room, we take the lead. And it legit came down to that turn. But Sun Shield Strike comes out here, finishes off the chair, and we go one and one for today's video. Let's hop to her third and let's grab ourselves up. Final battle coming at you guys. What a solid second battle, but it's time to grab ourselves that winning record. We're looking forward. I feel like Moltres and Grimstone could really get rolling here. We got the uh, the special attacker for Moltres, so Intimidate won't be affected by it. And we have the fake tiers on the Grimstone, and we can set up screens if we want to. So I like that. We're going to bring Kyogre in the back end because, you know, he's rocking Groudon and the Venusaur combo. So we need a way of changing up that uh, weather. And then last but not least, do I go Solgaleo or do I go Landers? I mean, Landers is solid. It just does a lot of work all around, but the only problem is that the fine Pokemon. We do not like that. We do not like that. So I could go Solgaleo. Solgaleo is not too shabby here, but I'm liking Landers a bit more, but Solgaleo is is restricted, and I kind of dig him. So you know what? Do I do that? No. I kind of want Lando. I kind of want Lando. Landers just type nice with everything. He has a rock move, so they're super effective up against Fuse. So yeah, let's go Landers. Let's say Solgaleo. I'm sorry, man. You're not coming in here. I probably should have brought him, but you know, I just like the Grimstar and Moltres combo. Try to get rolling with that. We already grabbed ourselves a win, which is awesome. So we can't go 0 3. And again, we're looking for this winning record here. Let's do it. Let's get after it. But I wonder who he's going to lead. He definitely has a lot of different options. Definitely has a lot of different options. He could go into, in with the Weather Squad. I mean, if he does that, I could just, you know, Dynamax, Moltres, and swap Grimstarl. Or I could swap uh, Moltres and set up screens. Well, it depends what I'm going to do. But I think he's going to maybe lead that in Cinema. And if he does, I think I'm just going to straight up Dynamax and start fake tier and nothing more. But I got to remember, I cannot fake tier in similar. I got to remember that. So let's see who he ends up leading. Hopefully neither Venusaur or Ground. Or hopefully just not the Venusaur. Let's see. Oh, he, he leads them both. Okay. So now we're forced to make a move here. I think we're forced to swap and just go into an airstream. Probably my best bet, right? Probably my best bet. I could protect this turn, but yeah, I'm just gonna Dynamax and change weather. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Change weather. Dynamax and Moltres, pop an airstream. He might protect the, uh, he might protect the Venusaur, but yeah, we gotta swap here. We have to take weather. That's why I always, I never lead my Kai Ogre or Groudon when I'm going up against the, the, uh, the opposing Pokemon. So if I'm going up against a Groudon, I never leave my Kyogre. If I'm going up against Kyogre, I never leave my Groudon. It seems to work fine for me, but there is certain instances that you probably want to try to lead him. But I just feel like having him in the back, you have a bit more control over the battle. Because you can just hard swap and take control that way. But I'm going to Dynamax here. I wonder what he's going to do. Hopefully he's not sashed on the Venusaur. And I can just legit just lay right into him. Get right after him. Would be a nice play. Would be a lovely little play. So we're going to Dynamax our lovely Glaring Moltres. This shiny Moltres looks incredible. It looks incredible. Looks so cool. I love how they gave like the old colors to him. He's going to go for Sleep Powder. And thank God we have Safety Goggles. Safety Goggles doing us so good. We drop an Airstream and we're going to get some speed. And this thing is focusing. So that's not bad considering Kai Ogre has that speed boost now. And I think he's going to swap the ground on, right? He's got to swap the ground on after he maybe goes for a Blades here. So, you know, the Moltres with the safety guy was coming in clutch. We love that. He's going to end up going for Swords Dance. That's totally fine. I mean, if he wants to Dynamax, he can Dynamax. I'm just going to Origin Pulse. And then go into probably like a Max Darkness, right? Special Defense. Yo, who's faster? Moltres, please be faster by hair. So we can get the Special Defense boost down. 121. Let's go. Let's go, Moltres. That's big time play. So, yeah, I'm just going to Darkness into this slot. Just so I get that Special Defense boost, and I'm just going to drop a... Drop an Origin Pulse. You give me no reason not to. We have speed up against this guy. He could guard the Groudon or block it, but that's totally fine if he does. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder how he's going to fare with this damage. Because A, he has to take a Max Darkness, which he can, he can soak that up pretty well. But then B, he has to take a Stab Super Effective Origin Pulse when he's minus one special effects. Because again, we have speed, but he could guard. A guard would be a solid play, but hopefully our Origin Pulse can just land on the Venusaur and we get rid of him. Let's see how he plays one. He's not going to guard. So Max Darkness is going to fly here. We're going to get that special defense boost. And we're going to chip up some damage on the Groudon. Again, like I said, not doing too much. But a nice chunk. And more so, we just want that special defense drop. The special defense drop comes out here. Origin Pulse. I need you. Double connecting. Good work, Origin Pulse. How much damage are we doing? 
Oh, that's exactly what we wanted. That is exactly what we wanted, yo. My Moltres is buzzing. Setting up that Kyogre, and that pretty much just won us the game there. We got rid of Groudon and Venus for no problem. And like I said, that is why I like to keep my, my weather Pokemon in the back end. It gives you more control. You can swap in whenever you want and just take the weather control and kind of like disturb his plays. So that was an amazing turn for us. Umbreon's going to come out here. I think our guy's just going to cancel, but what a way to finish off today's video. Going 2-1. It, it always stinks when you lose the, fir the first battle, but when you win the next two, it's always good. It's always good. But from here, I'm just going to airstream, take a bit more speed, and probably just pop an Origin Pulse. Or I could just Ice Beam straight into him, but uh, Origin Pulse is going to be my play. I think my boy cancels, right? He's probably not dealing with this. Yeah, he cancels the battle, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 and one for today's video. What a great set of battles for today's video. Ended up losing the first battle to that Alolan Persian. And then second and third battle, your boy thrived out. Second battle was actually really, really close. Came down to the wire. We popped Trickin' with Sogaleo. Won it that way. And in that third and final battle, we just wrecked it with that Moltres and that Coyote. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.